Hi ho, Sarah here, and I thought I would just share a green juice and how I get ready quickly in the morning to start my day. So this is how I keep all my veggies packaged. They're in the plastic bag I got from the grocery store. I wrap them all in paper towels. So I lay out a dry paper towel, I wash them, I spread them along the dry paper towel, like five or six um, paper towels long. I roll them in the paper towel and I put it in the bag. So the paper towel is wet because the vegetables were wet. I didn't wet the paper towel. And I just kind of slide out whatever I need to use for the day. Makes it super easy to get ready in the morning. No fuss here. These are dandelion greens if you haven't seen those before. And then back in the fridge it goes. So I have some celery. I don't even bother to wrap that because it goes so fast. And that was at the bottom of the bin, kind of hanging out. And it's all gross at the top, but the rest of it's okay. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like when they've been in the refrigerator for a while. That's about a week old. And those are our sweet potato greens that I got from the farmer's market. And you can see they're dry. The paper towel's damp. And they still look nice and healthy. So I also have some cucumbers hiding under here. I've chopped up a whole cucumber just into slivers that are small enough to fit into the mouth of my juicer. And that is what I'm going to have for today's green juice. So I'm just going to put the rest of that stuff out of the way and get started juicing. Now the reason I went with the Omega is because it juices greens best. Like the, the greens will come out of there bone dry with a lot of juice having been extracted from them. Cucumbers don't do so well. Uh, carrots do pretty well. But I tend to go with soft and then hard, soft and then hard and kind of work it back and forth as I'm feeding it into the juicer because the soft things can sometimes clog the filter. And if you send something through with a little bite to it, a little crunch to it, afterwards you can kind of knock some of that loose and keep it going so that you don't have to clean the screen. I rarely have to stop the machine and clean the screen, but I think uh, I do it even less so when I started using this method of soft hard, soft hard. So I'm just going to speed this up, work all that through there. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that that was parsley. I think I probably assumed you knew. So it's parsley, dandelion greens, sweet potato greens, celery, and cucumber. So per my usual, I'm just going to squeeze some pulp back through there, and then I'm going to run that celery stick back through there to kind of make sure that that doesn't clog the screen as well. There you go. And I really do get more juice from the pulp. So I put some pulp in there and I just wanted you to see how much juice I actually managed to get out of there from running it through again. It'll be just a couple of streams and then if I kind of tap it a little bit, a little bit more will come out. So to me that's worth sending it back through. If I sent that through again, oddly enough I'd get about the same amount. This is still that same bit of uh, pulp. Okay, now I'm going to put some apples in. It's been a while since I was high raw and since I have had completely green juice and I must admit it's a little intimidating to get back into it after a year. So I'm going to sweeten mine with a half an apple. I'm also, uh, I'm going to take a little test taste of this juice, which again, I don't know, it's looking kind of intense. I'm going to take a test taste, but my whole plan is to cut it with the probiotics. So, let's see. Yeah, I made the right call on that. <laughs> Definitely going to cut that with about an ounce of, that is coconut water kefir. It's vegan, which of course means dairy-free, it's soy-free, wheat-free, um, good stuff. I also use that to treat yeast infections. That is a 30-day supply and if you take it in seven days you, it will be a thing of the past. So now I'm just going to put my juice in there with the probiotic. I'm going to put the rest of the juice in a jar for later on and I'm just going to cut it again later on with either coconut water, some other juice, maybe um, grapefruit juice I have some somewhere, or um, more pro probiotic if I want. So that is my juice, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!